everyone, welcome to my channel and today it is Wine Wednesday. Welcome to my channel, welcome to Wine Wednesday. I am so excited. I love trying new wines each week and just sharing them with you. Most of the time I do drink a Chardonnay. Um, I do once in a while try to mix in a red, a Merlot or a Cabernet. I'm more of a very strong, um, kind of oaky flavor in wine. I'm not a big fan of Pinot Grigio or um, the, I'm not a big fan of the sweet wines. The Moscatos, they're not my favorite. So today I have Dark Horse Chardonnay. This is a wine under $10. And a lot of good wines that are under $10 that have really good rich flavors and um, texture. And I'm hoping this is one of them. I've never tried it. Let me just read the back. Um, Dark Horse is a noun the unexpected winner. So they give you the definition of dark horse, that's cute. For us, winning means bringing you exceptionally crafted and well-balanced wine that over delivers on your expectations. We do this by working side by side with 400 of California's finest grape growers to earn the first pick of the harvest. And we taste our wines over a hundred times before you pour your first glass. The result, a rich Chardonnay with notes of apple and ripe stone fruit layered with toasted oaks. Uh, cheers, Beth Luton, I think it says. So that's pretty cool. Um, it is rich toasted oak flavors. So I like the little note on the back. I like the little story. I think that's really cute and clever. I don't know if you guys can see the top of this. It has an, an impression of a horse. And its head is this is up here. I guess we should dive right into it. I hope you all had a wonderful Easter. Easter was Sunday, so I hope everyone had a nice day with their family. is really cute look at that they have it um, they have the branding right on the cork I think that is really cute especially for a wine under 10 I don't have one I really want one I have to get one is one of those things that you save your corks and you put them in I think that'd be cool and this would be nice could stand out Well, it is a very light color, a very light yellow Chardonnay. Yeah, it's a very nice light color. Mm, it has a nice smell to it. It smells very oaky, very Chardonnay. It's not even a word, is it? No. Um, but it smells really good. And now for the taste. Mm. I'm pretty impressed actually. It's very light and um, it's very smooth. It doesn't have a harsh finish. Mm. Yeah, it is a nice finish. So for the price point, um, I think it's pretty good. I do prefer a few other wines that are under 10 over this, but it is really nice. If you are not into a heavy Chardonnay, this would be a good one to drink. I compare a lot of things to Kendall Jackson because people have tasted it and they know it. Kendall Jackson to me is very bold and strong, and this is kind of underneath that. Um, 
But yeah, it has very good very just crisp, cool flavors. This is nice for just sitting down and sipping. I think maybe for a dinner wine, I would like something a little bolder. This would be a good lunch wine. <laughs> yeah, that's how I would describe it. A good lunch wine, a good sit down with friends, have a glass, shoot the breeze and just talk is this kind of wine. So uh, let's see couple little facts. Um, in the early 1940s, there were fewer than 100 acres of Chardonnay grapes grown in California. Now there's over 100,000 acres. That is incredible. Okay, so here's the difference between a California Chardonnay and a lot of the French Chardonnays is California Chardonnay is usually matured in oak, giving it a buttery vanilla taste, where French Chardonnay has an unoaked, crisp apple taste. Interesting. I have not tried a French Chardonnay. Like almost all of them I have come from California. So hopefully in the near future, I'll get to try a French one and see how it compares. Um, let's see. Okay, so here's a fun little fact. In 2002, there were no babies in the UK that were ever called Chardonnay until a character in a TV drama, Footballer's Wives, when it made it fashionable. And then in 2002, there were 65 baby girls named Chardonnay. So... Those are just a couple fun little facts. I did research the Titanic. So if you watched my Wine Wednesday from last week, I had talked about them finding um, all the wine bottles aboard the Titanic. The divers went down, they found them still intact, and it actually was one of the first known wine cellars was aboard the Titanic. And they went down and they retrieved some of these bottles and one of them sold for like $265,000. Also, the bottles they tested, the wine was still drinkable and it actually enhanced the wine because sitting in the ocean for all that time and the salt water slowly kind of seeping through the cork, but not enough to ruin the wine, it actually enhanced it. So I thought that was just really cool, really interesting, and I enjoyed finding out about that. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I would love if you hit that like and subscribe button. It does mean the world to me. I'm loving watching my channel grow, watching me grow. And as always, thanks again, and until next time.